first thing we're going to do is save the project without the soundtrack uh, as part of the timeline. Uh, we do this because it allows us to be able to easily add our finished soundtrack back in when we're done and because we have to delete the video off the timeline at the end of this keeps us from losing that. So the next thing I'm going to do is go select all the audio I want to have on the timeline and then drag it down to the audio music section. Now ahead of time I planned out to get this audio so that it was as close to the same length as the video as I could as you can see right there. So with all of the music added to the timeline the next thing I'm going to do is highlight the video, hit control A on the keyboard to select all the video, then click the delete key to delete all the video. Now it's not as scary as it seems, we're going to then save the existing movie file that's there which is just the audio and so you select a name for it, I'm just using uh, the default name uh, and then my videos, we're going to go with high quality audio because since we're editing this audio we want it to be uh, in the, the best quality that we can get it at. Then we we'll click next The external editor that I'm using for this tutorial is Easy Media Creator 7 from Roxio. Uh, the sound editor included with that, which I believe is also included with CD and DVD Creator 6, if you happen to have that. Uh, Easy Media Creator has a whole lot of cool other features. So anyway, we're going to open uh, that audio track we just created uh, in Sound Editor and it might take just a couple seconds for it to open depending on how fast your machine is uh, cause it's got a process uh, in this case about 40 minutes of audio now that all the audio has been imported we're going to use uh, control A to select all of it then we're going to go up to the tools menu apply effect to selection and choose normalize from the menu Normalizing takes a little bit of time because the software has to go through and find the peak value within the entire audio spectrum and then what it's going to do is it's going to average everything up uh, louder based on that particular uh, peak value being uh, the new 100% threshold for the audio. Uh, this allows you to get the maximum volume out of all of the audio in your soundtrack uh, without introducing any clipping. Other programs do give you control over the kinds of normalizing you can do. For example, Adobe's Audition product, SoundForge XP, or one of the other professional editors will let you have access to uh, specifying a decibel level that you want to normalize your audio to uh, or you can specify a percent of the maximum value of the audio that you want to normalize everything to which is going to uh, even out the highs and lows in your audio to give you sort of a maximizing effect for all of the audio in your soundtrack. Once normalizing is complete it's time to save the file so we go to file save or use control S on the keyboard and then we're going to name the file uh, the same base name as the original file and add normalized to the end of that so that that way we still have the raw file but we also have a normalized track that we can use later. When saving is complete uh, we'll go up to the file menu and exit out of sound editor and we'll go back to Windows Movie Maker. Back in Windows Movie Maker we're going to reopen the project that we saved so that it eliminates the existing soundtrack and brings back the video timeline. With the video loaded back on the timeline, we're going to import the audio track that we just edited uh, by going to File, Import into Collections, browse to the folder where the audio is located, uh, in this case in the My Videos folder. Select the track and click the Import button. You can see it there in the collection. 
Well, let's take that track, drag it down to the audio timeline, and you've got your normalized soundtrack added to the movie. Uh, from there, if for some reason you need to adjust the level of one particular segment of the soundtrack uh, smaller, uh, you can clip that soundtrack or piece of the soundtrack from the middle of the soundtrack by dragging the slider to the point where you want to create the start of the quieter piece uh, and then going over and clicking the split the clip button uh, and then drag it to the end of that and then click the uh, track split button again and you've got the split clip that you can uh, right click on and adjust the volume for that little segment of the audio leaving the rest of the audio in your selection maximized. That concludes our uh, tutorial on normalization and look for further tutorials from MediaBlab.com in the future. Thank you.